Watching a total solar eclipse can be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But if you're not careful, it can also be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to do serious damage to your eyes. Looking at the sun is never safe, even during an eclipse. And one of the problems is you might not know you're doing damage until it's too late. With a lack of pain receptors in our eyes, it's hard to tell whether you're actually doing permanent damage or just making yourself uncomfortable. So how do you see the eclipse safely? Well, one thing we want to say right at the start is this is not a good option. A pair of sunglasses will not block out enough of the sunlight to be safe, so just ditch the sunglasses altogether. One good way to watch the eclipse is to get a pair of eclipse glasses. These glasses allow you to safely look at the sun while the eclipse is occurring without damaging your eyes. If, like me, you wear glasses and those aren't very comfortable, you have options too. Something like this. An eclipse viewer that can go over a pair of prescription glasses may be a good option for you to be able to safely view the eclipse. Now guys, what about welding helmets? A lot of people have that question, and in fact, a welding helmet can be a safe option for viewing the eclipse if you have shade 12 or higher. Now, if you don't know what shade your welding helmet is or what I'm even talking about, you're not a good candidate to wear a welding helmet during the eclipse. Perhaps you're a budding photographer or astronomer and you want to take photographs or see the eclipse through a pair of binoculars or a telescope. You still should not be looking through those lenses without a filter. So you're going to need to get a separate solar lens for your camera or your binoculars or your telescope. And even in fact, for something like your cell phone, you could damage your cell phone by taking pictures of the eclipse without a lens like this. So something like this can fit easily over your cell phone so you can take pictures. That being said, cell phone pictures rarely come out very good, so if you're taking pictures with a cell phone, you might just want to put it back in your pocket and enjoy the experience of a lifetime.